Busters, tape date 11587, air date 2287, show number 021. Get ready for our game of skill and strategy. Monday. We're back. We're going to start it off today with another. We're in the middle of a really good game. We've got two good players up there right now. Let's not waste any time. Let's meet them right now. Let's start out by saying hello to Maria. Hi, Bill. Nice to see you again. Maria is our champion. Introduce yourself, Maria. Okay. My name is Maria Stewart. I live in Ventura, California with my husband and two children. And I design and decorate wedding cakes and sweet desserts for special occasions. Really? Yeah. That's terrific. That's, that's Fun. Nice. You're a baker then? Uh, uh, yes. And, and that's, you know, in, in shorter terms, it's a bakery thing. But you yeah. specialize in the desserts and cakes. Yeah, it, lots of different things. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling I don't want to go any further with this right at the moment. <laughs> she is the champion, ladies and gentlemen. She has $600 in her pocket. And every dime. Every dime. And uh, we just got a chance to briefly say hello to the challenger. Uh, this gentleman, this nappy-looking guy over here. Handsome man, isn't he? All right, introduce yourself, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. My name is Art Bodie, and I sell slippers for a living, and I'm a one-time great-granddad, but with 12 grandchildren, I'm pretty sure it's not the last. Yeah, yeah, they'll be firing out a few more for you, Art, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can just sit back and applaud them. Go, come on, come on, give me kids here, and I don't have to take care of it. That's great. Listen, let's get started right now. We're in the middle of game one. Let's take a look at the board right now. Those initials you see up there, they all represent one word answers to questions. Art, our challenger, is the red guy. He is working top to bottom uh, and is in control right now, I believe, and uh, is about to pick his next letter. What are you going to do, Art? Got to go for I, Bill. What I does the Food and Drug Administration insist that in a three ounce jar of apple butter, they only allow four dead ones? Insects? Yes, Maria, insects. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's continue on right now. Important block on the board for Maria. Working side to side. Go ahead, please. I think I'm going to take the L. L? What the L, Maria? What L was originally constructed as a fortress and is the French museum that has three million visitors each year? Art. Louvre? Yes, the Louvre. That's exactly what we were looking for. That was an interesting choice. Everybody got confused by that. Anyway, Art picked it up. Art's back in control again. Where are we going, Art? Let's try you, please, Bill. You. Okay, Art, you know, of course, that you're going to win with this if you get it. Maria, you got a block right now. What you are the Eastern Europeans who originated the tradition of painting Easter eggs? Maria. Yugoslavians? No. No. Oh, no. shoot. Yeah. Yugoslavian starts with a Y. But, uh, not, not a spelling. Not a spelling. Now we're getting redundant, Maria. Okay, let's continue on right now. I have to read this for Art. Art, if you get it, you're going to win the game. What you are the Eastern Europeans who originated the tradition of painting Easter eggs? I hope it's Ukrainian. You've got it. You've got game number one. Oh, I would have done the same thing. I did the same thing. We had, a, we had a question about O the last time, and it was for Ouija board. And if they would have asked me, I would have sworn Ouija was spelt with a W, but it was an O. So I'm in the same boat as you are. Anyway, Art has got one game in his corner, 100 bucks in his pocket. If he wins the next one, he's the new champ. Let's see what happens right after this. We'll be back. <laughs> Testing here on Blockbusters, we would love to see you. Rich, tell them how to do it. If you're going to be in Southern California and would like to be a contestant here on Blockbusters, give us a call at area code 213-466-5103. Back to you, Bill. Ah, wow, here we are. Let's keep going right now. We're about to start game number two. Let's look at the game board right now. 
This is a must-win situation for the champ, Maria. She is playing from the top, and she has the advantage in this game. She's working top to bottom. Let's get started right now. Let's take a look at our game board. What letter are we starting with, please? H. Always a toss-up. What H turned 350 last September is responsible for 29 Nobel Prizes and is the school five presidents graduated from? Maria. Harvard? Harvard is right. Oh, boy. All right, Maria, you're on the board first. We'll be top to bottom. Continue, please. Let's try the E, please. E. What E usually completes the sex act in under 40 seconds when it's a male and may not care about having sex for three years when it's a female and is the largest land mammal? Maria. Elephant? Elephant is correct. So many things to say in so little time. We'll continue on right now. Maria, you're in control. Pick again, please. Big D. Big D. What D? Boy, listen to this. What D only has sex in midair and has his reproductive organs ripped from his body while mating with a queen bee? Maria. Throne? Throne is correct. Whoa! We're obviously, we're obviously using up that Valentine's Day material a little early, aren't we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's continue on, Maria. You're in control here. Let's go for the V, please. Let's go for the V, and this will be the win. The, cha the champ will have tied it up if she does it. What V was invented by a 22-year-old who lived to age 96 and credited his longevity to the fact that he swallowed a spoonful of this petroleum jelly product... <laughs> Art. Vaseline. Vaseline. Each day. Just give me a minute, honey. I just want to have another spoonful of this Vaseline jelly. I'll be right out. <laughs> anyway, Art, you're in control. Working side to side, sir. Let's try A, please. A. <clears throat> what A is a brand name product that you can mix with water to relieve the pain of a bee sting and is a meat tenderizer first sold... Maria. Adolf? Adolf's. First sold by mail order. Yes, sir. All right. Back in control, Maria. Where are we going? I like the eye. Eye. What eye supplies free Christmas trees to the 100,000 Christians who live there and is where, instead of a Red Cross, the ambulance... Art. Israel? Israel is right. That is correct. The ambulance have a red star of David on them. Very interesting. Let me know. Free Christmas trees to 100,000 Christians. That, that's really interesting. All right, Art, you're back in control, sir. Let's try a G, please. Dave. G, he's working side to side here. Very important question. What G was originally to be cast with a blonde surfer, surfer type in mind, but was finally cast with Dustin Hoffman as Benjamin? Maria. Graduate? Graduate is right. You've tied it up. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. Maybe in the 70s, the graduate, if I believe, right? Well, you did it, champ. You've tied it up by now. And we come back after this commercial message. We'll have our tie break and no advantage in that game. We'll be right back. Here we are. Very good game taking place right now. Two good players. They've battled it out to a tie. Maria's got $100 in a game on her side of the board. Art's got 100 bucks in a game on his side of the board. And this is time for the tiebreaker. Let's look at that tiebreaking board right now. Now, if you notice, it looks a little different because nobody has the advantage here. Let's get started with our tiebreaker because the winner of this definitely goes on to the gold run. What letter, please? M. What M is the board game that takes all of its street names from Atlantic Art? Monopoly. Monopoly. That is correct. Art's on the board. All right, Art, you're in control. Continue, sir. Let's try a W, please, Bill. W. He's working top to bottom here. What W did the United Nations stop giving its delegates in an attempt to save $100,000 a year, which provoked a three-hour debate on whether or not to have pictures of this? Maria. Water? Water. Yeah, water. $100,000 a year in water. Whew. Who sold that deal? Anyway, Maria, continuing. You're working side to side. Okay, I'd like to anchor with the H. H. What H should you turn on briefly to help cool your engine if your car... 
Heart. Heater. Heater, that's right. If your car yeah. gets too hot and heavy traffic. Yeah. Turn your heater on if your car is too hot. Yeah. Interesting. All right, continue, Art. Let's try the D, please, Bill. D. He wants to anchor at the bottom here. What D does Air Transport World magazine say has the lowest percentage of customer complaints of any major U.S. airline? It's Maria. Delta? Delta, that's it. Delta is correct. Good carry. All right, Maria, you're in control. Oh, let's try the A. 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 What A is the least populated of the United States? That's Art. Alaska. Alaska is correct. Yeah. Alaska is correct. <laughs> All right. I know it doesn't look like it, but Art's working top to bottom here. Right, Let's continue on, like Art. Let's try an S, please. S. Yeah. Trying to get up to the top. What S does it take about two weeks to reach a million and almost 32 years for a billion of them to tick by? Maria. Seconds. Seconds is right. Well, you can see what happens when those blocks get on the board. There are a lot of confusion taking place. Everybody trying to find their route. You're going to have to wait to see what happens with this tiebreaker right after this. Look at that. Welcome back, everybody. Listen, I want to tell you something very quickly. Today, we are going to show you a question from our Carrazy February contest on Blockbusters. Play along, and you can win this car. Tell them about it, Rich. The 1987 Isuzu iMark, the front-wheel drive economy car with a peppy 1.5-liter engine that combines the practicality you really need with the silent features you really want. All right, thank you, Rich. Now, to win this car, you need to answer this question with the letters VD. What VD is the holiday when more Las Vegas marriages usually take place than at any other time of the year. Now, if you think you know the answer, print it on a standard size postcard with your name, address, and telephone number, and send it to Carrazy February Blockbusters, Post Office Box 44808, Panorama City, California, 91412 1708. In March, we will collect all the entries from all the contest questions we have shown you on Blockbusters. The first four postcards we draw with the correct answers to any of the special Blockbusters questions we've shown, and we'll receive one of these brand new cars. Now, you can enter as often as you like, but mail every postcard separately. If you show up at the post office with two of these, a large man will pummel you. <laughs> entries must be received by March 9th, 1987. Winners will be notified by March mail the week of March 16th, and Pat Sajak's now going to finish this for you. Now, stay tuned for complete rules at the end of the program, as if that wasn't enough. Anyway, we're in the middle of a tiebreaker right now. Let's take a look at our board, please. The interesting fact about this board, the thing I really like about this board is neither one of the players are going in the right direction. That's, uh, that lets you know that Blockbusters is being played correctly. Anyway, uh, White is in control right now. Maria, pick the next letter, please. Mm, let's have an F. F. What F does Ladies Home Journal say you can keep from getting puffy by avoiding salt and alcohol the day before you wear high heels? That is Maria. Feet. Feet. That is correct. Feet was correct. We were looking for it. And our slipper salesman Art knew it too, but he just didn't get that buzzer quick enough. Anyway, we're continuing on right now with Maria in control. I'd like the T, please. T. This could be it, if I am correct, because if she gets it, she will win the match. She will be the champion again. Art, you got to block her here, sir. Got her. What tea have more protein, one ounce for ounce, than sirloin steak, and probably don't have to worry about fiber in their own diets due to all the wood they eat? Art. Termites. Termites is right. Ooh. What a block. What a block. Very important block right there. All right, continuing on right now. Art, you're in control. Pick again, please. Well, I think we better try uh, E, please. You're going with E. All right. A lot of folks would have thought you went somewhere else, but let's take it here. What E 
Should you drink water before, during, and after to help prevent muscle cramps? Maria. Exercise. Exercise is right. A lot of folks uh, thought you were going to go. Uh, I think you know your mistake there, Art. Anyway, let's continue on right now. That's how the game is played, folks. Continue on, Maria. You're in control. I think I'll try the L. She's going for L. What L had a dance named in his honor called the Lindy Hop? That is Maria. Lindbergh? Lindbergh is right. Yeah. Lindbergh is right. Boy, touch and go, touch and go now. All right. Where are we going now, Maria? Oh, boy. Oh, let's try the... Yeah, we sometimes, yeah, thank you. All right, now. I was getting nervous there. I thought we were into another week's worth of shows. All right, now, this is a very important one. I'm making a joke here, but listen to me very seriously. Whoever gets this question right is the champion. So listen very carefully. What B is the type of stew, according to restaurant lingo, that a waitress in a diner might call bossy in a bowl? All right, beef. You got it. Yeah. Terrific. You were there all the way to the end. Come on over here, Art. For being such a wonderful champion, you have $700 and a Frigidaire refrigerator. Thank you. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content. You can play free games and win real prizes.